Let's take it over to Andy Challenger of Challenger Gray and Christmas. Andy, it's been a very active time of striking workers. What do workers need to know as they're walking off their jobs? Now the Writers Guild of America went on strike this week. Uh, it's primarily going to affect writers in Los Angeles and Southern California. Uh, but there are other entertainment hubs around the country, like New York, Georgia, and New Mexico, where writers might be affected. Uh, and it is a time to probably batten down the hatches. Sometimes these strikes can go on uh, for quite a long time. And so it's worthwhile to start thinking about other streams of income and other ways you can be spending your time during the strike instead of just hoping that it's going to blow by really quickly. What about people who cross the picket line to work anyway? Yeah, writer strikes do seem a little bit different than other strikes. Uh, clearly, writers could still be spending their own personal time creating content uh, that could be sold in the future. It doesn't necessarily need to be time stamped, so nobody will know that you're doing it during the strike time. And I think that's a real possibility for people that can't sell to production companies and they can't join writer rooms for a period of time because of the strike. They could still be working on their craft personally. How do you think companies should respond to these situations? Yeah, I think smart companies uh, try to avoid this framework of employers versus employees and these really hardened battle lines that can make these disputes drag on for a very long period of time. Better to think of it as a problem that needs to be solved. There is a negotiation that can be created that's going to make both sides happy and it's worthwhile to bring empathy and thought to those discussions so you can get it resolved as soon as possible. Thanks so much, Andy, for talking labor with us today. Thanks for having me on, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.